disapproval of Dina Boyuart continues at its highest point, 85% reject her management. In the current political scenario, disapproval of government leaders can be a crucial indicator of the state of public opinion and the effectiveness of implemented policies. In this context, the figure of Dina Boyuart has emerged as a focus of intense criticism and discontent. With disapproval reaching an all-time high, an overwhelming 85% of the population expresses their rejection of her management. This phenomenon not only reflects the widespread perception of dissatisfaction, but also raises questions about the reasons behind this marked dissatisfaction. In this video, we will explore the factors that have contributed to this unprecedented level of disapproval towards Dina Boyuart and her impact on the political and social landscape. This level of disapproval has occurred since December 2023, after the executive itself recognized that Peru was in an economic recession and that the states of emergency against insecurity had failed. Disapproval of President Dina Boyuart's management continues at its highest point for three consecutive months and stands at 85% according to a recent survey conducted by Datum International between March 1 and 4. According to data published by the newspaper El Comercio, the approval of the president, who has been in office for more than a year, only reaches 10% while the remaining 5% do not know or have an opinion. It should be noted that the survey has not measured the positive or negative impact of the new cabinet of Gustavo Adrianzen, who took office on March 6, one day after Alberto Odorola announced his resignation due to the broadcast of audios in which he asks Yasri Pinedo, his ex-partner, for his CV to find him a job in the state. This level of rejection has occurred since December 2023, when the Ministers of Economy, José Arista Arbildo replaced Alex Contreras Miranda, and the Interior, Victor Torres Falcon replaced Vicente Romero, were changed. After the executive itself recognized that Peru was in economic recession and that the states of emergency against insecurity in some districts of Lima and the north of the country failed. By age, those who most disapprove of Dina Boyuart's work range between 35 and 44 years old, 90%, and where she has the least disapproval is in the 18 to 24 year old range, 77%. Meanwhile, in the south of the country, where the protests were concentrated in 2022 and 2023, disapproval is higher, 90%, in the north of the country disapproval is lower, 81%, while in Lima and Calao, as well as in the East, the rejection rate is 85%. The reasons behind the high disapproval of Dina Boyuart's management may be diverse and may include a combination of factors. Some possible reasons could be Lack of tangible results, citizens perceive that the policies and actions implemented by Boyuart are not producing positive results in terms of improvements in quality of life, economy, security, among other aspects. Corruption or misconduct scandals, corruption and lack of transparency in government can undermine public trust in its leaders. If there are allegations of corruption or other scandals involving Boyuart or her administration, this could significantly contribute to her low approval rating. Inability to address key problems, if Boyuart fails to effectively address important problems affecting Peruvian society, such as poverty, crime, education or health, citizens are likely to disapprove of her. Lack of effective communication, the perception of a lack of effective communication by Boyuart with the public could lead to greater distrust and disapproval. Citizens feel that they are not being adequately informed about government actions and policies. Widespread discontent with the government, broader factors, such as widespread dissatisfaction with the government as a whole or with the political system in general, may also contribute to disapproval of Boyuart, even if he is not directly responsible for all of the perceived problems. How viable is a Boyuart dismissal? As a result of these events, the Peru Libre Party bench presented a request for dismissal against the president before Congress, with the signature of at least 26 of the 130 congressmen who make up the body. We have just presented the vacancy motion, dismissal, against Dina Boyuart, due to permanent moral incapacity due to the Rolex issue, in the exercise of the parliamentary function of political control, parliamentarian Margot Palacios reported on Saturday on her ex-account. 
Among those who support the document, the majority are legislators from Peru Libra and other left-wing parties such as Democratic Change, Together for Peru and the Magisterial Bloc, which supports former President Pedro Castillo. For this political group, Boluarte holds the presidency unconstitutionally. The left also blames it for the 80 deaths and more than 1,000 injured who were victims of police repression during the protests that emerged after Castillo's arrest. The lawyer assumed her current position in December 2022, after her predecessor was arrested for dissolving Congress and declaring an emergency government. In Peru's Congress, 87 of 130 votes are needed to remove a president. According to him, there are no votes to remove it, but various groups have asked that the origin of the watches be made transparent, because they consider a vacancy too hasty. For the Latina Noticias journalist and BBC Mundo collaborator, if the congressman approved a political trial against Boluarte, that could lead to an advance of elections, which implies that they will have to leave their seats too, something that they do not want to face until 2026, when his term is over. This does not mean that legislators do not ask the president to account for the watches and summon her to testify before Congress. But he believes that, if she does not explain it correctly, what can happen is that it will be shelved, and her debate delayed, until it is useful to the congressman. It is a card that they can play at some point if a more powerful one does not appear along the way. Based on the continued high disapproval of Dina Boluart by Peruvians, we can conclude that there is a strong rejection of her management. This persistence in disapproval for three consecutive months, reaching a level of 85%, suggests that there are deep and widespread concerns about her performance and the decisions she has made in office. This rejection reflects a lack of confidence in her ability to address the problems and meet the needs of the Peruvian population. It is important for political leaders to consider these opinions and work to address public concerns and rebuild trust in government. What would happen if Dina Boluarte was vacated? I cannot make specific predictions about future events, as we do not have the ability to foresee outcomes with certainty. However, we can offer you some possible general situations that could occur in the event that Dina Boluarte were subjected to a vacancy process in a political context. Political resistance, it is possible that her supporters and political allies will defend her position and try to prevent her vacancy, which could generate a heated debate in the political and public sphere. Investigation and public debate, the vacancy of a political official generally involves a process of investigation and public debate to determine whether there has been any serious violation of law or official duty. This could involve hearings, presentation of evidence and discussions at the legislative level. Political consequences, depending on the conclusions of the vacancy process, Dina Boluart could be removed from her position or remain in it. The decision could have significant repercussions on the political landscape and public opinion. Impact on political stability, the vacancy of an important public official could have an impact on the political stability of the country. It could generate uncertainty, debates about the legitimacy of the government and affect citizens' trust in political institutions. In summary, the consequences of a possible vacancy for Dina Boluart would depend on several factors, including the findings of the investigation, the political support she can gather and how public opinion reacts to the process. But now it's your turn to tell us, what does this tell you about the video? Do you agree with how Dina is ruling right now? If you found the video useful, we would appreciate it if you gave it a like to support our project and if you subscribe. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.